Hello, everybody. Welcome to Little John's Yarns. Thank you for joining me here today. If this is your very first time here, what we like to do is talk about crochet and drink a little wine at the same time. So today we're going to be going over my top 10 crochet baby lovey patterns. If you have a grandchild or a baby on the way, it's maybe about time to start making these. I don't know. They said there hasn't been too many quarantine babies because people were like, I don't want any kids right now. It's just too much money. But if you do have one on the way or you know somebody who's having it, you're going to want to check out this roundup. And before we even get into this, I will let you know if I talk too much during this live stream, it's what I do. But don't worry, all these patterns are free and you can find them down in the description box below. Just click the link and you'll find them. So right now, let's get to chit chatting. Where is everybody from? What time is it? What's the weather like? What's going on in your life? Myself, it, it I'm in near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It is a nice warm day. It's about 86 degrees. It's a pretty quiet day. Just me and my son, we're home here. So what's going on with you guys in the comments? Let me start from the top. So who was here first? My girl, Gloria Bowman. Good afternoon to my crochet family, checking in from Chicago, South Shore area. Hey, Miss Gloria and uh, Katina. Hey, I'm checking in from Southeast Kentucky. Hashtag yarn life. We got my girl, Caitlin. Welcome back. Making the puppy. She says she's making a puppy blanket right now. So you guys probably don't know what we're talking about. I think that is the white and green puppy blanket. That one's super cute. I remember looking at that one. Oh, uh, we got Mar Wills in the house. We have Crafty Chats. Welcome back, everybody. My girl, Lee Ann, how you doing? Hi from the Netherlands. It's a quiet day at home, been knitting all day. And it's, uh, for us, that would be 10, right? Wait. No, that's not 10, nine. What is 20 hundred hours? See, us Americans do things so difficult and then it involves a um, math for me. So that's minus four. Somebody tell me what time that is. <laughs> Let's see what else is going on. Kelly, hey, everybody. All right, so usually before I go into all these patterns, I always like to ask the question first, like, uh, before I ask, when I ask the question, I want you to put like question marks in front of it. So I know to bring your comment to the front. I know it sounds weird. You might not know what I'm talking about. If you look down at uh, Leanne's comment, that's what I like to do. I like to engage everybody. Look, thank you. Thank you. Shara, she says it's 1 PM here, 1300 hours. Thanks for the uh, dumb American translation for me. I appreciate it. <laughs> 7 p.m. in Dublin. Well, I'm having so many people here. Uh, Bulgaria, uh, you've been here before. Yes, you have, I think. Uh, this, I'm going to mispronounce your name, but I'm going to get it right. Vesela, let me know if I, pron if I pronounced that correctly. I hope I did. Here we go. All right, so we're going to hop into this. Let me pull some of these down. Hey, Karen. All right. So the question that I'm going to ask you today, this is kind of more specifically to the uh, crocheters who learned how to crochet as an adult. So for those who learned how to crochet 18 and over, what made you decide to learn how to crochet? For myself, I'm not going to go into detail. I'll explain later, but I learned from when I was seven. I don't remember not crocheting. For those adult crochet learners, what motivated you to learn this hobby? But before you answer, make sure you put question marks in front of it so I know to bring it to the front. And everybody, if you would like to find these free patterns and complete them yourself, like Leanne, you can find them down in the description box below. So let's hop into this roundup. Share my screen. Let's bring up the first one. Sorry, I had to pull up my script. Did I share my screen? Let me make sure I did. All right, this first one is called the Bunny Lovey. An adorable bunny lovey is just a thing for any spring baby, especially if it's born around Easter time. Pastel pink and delicate features are the picture perfect for a newborn photo shoot. This beginner friendly and free crochet lovey pattern costs for just single crochet and double crochet stitches. The designer of this pattern is Crochet 365 Knit 2. This is so cute. I like loveys because that's almost, almost like one of those instant gratification patterns. When I say instant gratification, I'm not meaning this is done in a day, but it doesn't take you 10 years to make a blanket. It's smaller and it's so cute. All right, the next one, Lovey, we're gonna look at is called the Little Lamb Baby Lovey. 
If you're looking for a lovey that's a little bigger, maybe for a one or four year old instead of a newborn, then this adorable lamb is the great choice. The clever design uses bobble stitches for textured sheep's wool and double crochet stitches for the blanket. The designer of this is Soella. Actually, Soella is one of my favorite, uh, I wouldn't say favorite crochet designers. I love her patterns, but she is my favorite crochet business lady. She's one of the people, well, not directly, just by learning from her website. She's one of the people that inspired me to start my own crochet business, but I love Soella. All right, the question that I asked you, for the adult learners, what inspired you to start crocheting as an adult. Like I said, for myself, I started crocheting when I was seven years old. My grandma taught me during the summer. I'm sure it was just for her to get me to sit down and shut up so she can see where I am. But I know I appreciate it. Thank you, grandma. What inspired you to start? So let me take a sip and I'll hop into yours. Hey, I always have to say hello. Hook by Robin is here. And wait, I'm gonna not mess this up. Robin. Is Steve here? I can't find Steve. Just let me know. I'm on the joke now. <laughs> let me scroll up. Let's see what everybody has. Allison. Allison S says, I saw my coworker and stepmom doing it and, I, and it always looked cool. Went to make gifts for others and scars for myself. I find it so amazing that you can learn something as an adult. Once I became an adult, learning anything new was like, ah, walking through sand. It's like, can't do it. I mean, I can if you pursue and learn and all the good stuff, but it's so hard. Brianna says, I couldn't figure out how to knit. Wait, you couldn't figure out how to knit, but you crochet. I think I can't knit. Knit to me is simpler but the stitches are so small and I learned how to crochet first. So just, it's natural for me to crochet, but I think crochet might be more difficult because there's more stitches. Is, isn't there only two stitches in knit? I'm not a knitter. So knitters, let me know how many stitches are there in knit? For crochet, you know, you got the single crochet, double crochet. You can make that stitch up to a, as many wrap overs as possible. I think last week I talked about a nine wrap overs, like a sep non tepal treble crochet it's a mouthful so let's see beverly i needed something to make me feel alive and turn into extra income congratulations and cheers to you i enjoy crochet because it's nice to complete things the act of like completing a crochet project i don't know if it releases endorphins or whatever it is or dopamines maybe dopamines is dopamines will calm you down i don't know but whatever it is when my crochet project is done, I'm like, <sighs> I feel good. <laughs> Crafty Chat says, a very healthy amigurumi obsession. Ooh, here's a good one. Heather, I learned at age 42, I'm 40, 43 now. I taught myself because I have an, severe anxiety disorder and severe PTSD, and I found that crocheting helps me tre tremendously. I have to ask you a question, um, Heather. Do you find when you're counting stitches, you become calmer? Like if it's a pattern repeat, like single crochet to the next four, then increase. In my head, I'll count one, two, three, four, increase. One, two, three, almost like a mantra being said in my head and I can calm down. And of course, then my husband comes in the room and asks me a question and I'm off count and I'm like, ah, and I have to get back into my zone again. Yes, Reggie. She says knitting is just too slow. It is. Knitting is so beautiful, but mm -mm, too slow. I always say, give me a big old stitch so I can just get to the pattern real quick. I just now started to give single crochet some love. You guys might have noticed in my uh, newer crochet patterns, I've been see, using uh, single crochets. Don't be mad at me, but they uh, they're nice. They make some great things. Oh, and as usual, if you guys are just getting to my live stream and you're wondering why is this woman talking so much and you want to get to these lovey patterns, click down in the description box below. All these patterns are linked below and they're absolutely free. Let's see what else everybody had to talk about. Uh, Wendy, that's sweet. She said, I wanted to make for my first granddaughter. What up, 
Caitlin. Welcome back. Uh, my mom, my mom, two of my sisters, and my step grandmother crocheted, and I used to always watch them and fall asleep. So I figured that I would learn too. Now my nieces and nephews sleep watching me. Isn't it crazy how like the big circle of everything comes back around again? I always, I'm picturing myself being my grandmother years, 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 years when I'm older, not yet children that I have. Jade, if you're watching this, no kids for at least another 10, 15 years. Uh, I pictured myself being like my grandmother. I remember sitting at the foot of her arm chair. She had one of those big old cushy, lazy boy chairs. She used to keep her yarn behind there and just sitting below her watching her just, I don't know, I'm working this hand, but crocheting. It was just beautiful. I hope one day I can do that for my future grandchildren and maybe pass that on because but Jada, if you're watching, I know you don't want to learn how to crochet. No, my, none of my kids care about crochet. I want to pass it on to somebody. All right, let me do some scrolling. Here we go. Hey, Lori Murphy. What's up? I started because I was recovering from surgery and I was couch bound. Hmm. So how many years have you been crocheting? My girl, Lori. I learned at age 50 about two years ago. I decided I needed a winter hobby, went to the craft store for ideas and found a crochet kit on clearance. Been hooked ever since. I think you get better mom jokes than I got hooked ever since. <laughs> My girl XD Symphony says she's been crocheting uh, during lockdown because she's bored. Hold on, you just started crocheting? <sighs> Robin said she thought it would be a cheap hobby. So you, well, I guess, I mean, if you're yarn obsessed, it's not a cheap hobby, but compared to like being obsessed with those expensive purses and shoes and clothes, I pretty much look homeless every day. Oh, I'm going to embarrass myself, but I got gym shorts on under here. I mean, you know, I don't care. It's, it's just us, me and you. I look nice from the waist up. What I do care about is yarn. I love pretty yarn. I love walking into a yarn store and just, I'm sorry if you guys don't live in the U.S. and you don't have these big, huge Walmart star, uh, size uh, craft stores. But when you walk into these stores, oh, I got a super chat. Oh, if you don't know what a super chat is, when somebody donates during a live stream, the bubbles and lights will go off. And let's see who donated. My girl, Lori Murphy, and cheers to you. Welcome back. I feel like we haven't talked in a long time. I haven't been on Facebook very much often. I need to get back on. She said, let me turn this off. I've been crocheting for about three years. Went from crochet crochet to knitting, knitting, spinning, and weaving. Went down a rabbit hole. Did you go? You're on uh, Evie. What's her name? Evie, Evie. She spins yarn. What is the name of her channel, Lori? I know you know, but it's so easy to go down to a rabbit hole. But it's amazing. I thought I just assume you've been crocheting longer because you are like on my level. You love yarn, but I think I knew better. I want to learn how to spin, but I know that can be like detrimental to my like financial habits just to buy a spinning wheel. Maybe I can find a used one. I don't know. But since you donated, I don't mean to go on a ramble about all the stuff that you're doing, but just three years. That's crazy. I'm going to give you a, a spin on the Wheel of Patterns because you donated. Here we go. Let's see what comes up on a wheel. Did I share the screen? I did share the screen. Let's see. You win my peekaboo slippers. Where are they? Peekaboo. Where are you? Right here. So you know the routine, Miss Lori. Make sure you email me, littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. My email is down below and I'll send you the pattern. And once again, thank you. Thank you so much for donating. Cheers to you. Mm. What was I talking about? Oh, the smell of a craft store. It smells like artificial flowers, that potpourri smell. When I walk in and styrofoam and just clean. I just love walking into a craft store. All right. I think I've gone too far. Guys, let's hop back into these uh Top 10 crochet lovey patterns. If you would like to find these patterns directly, they're all linked down in the description box below. You can avoid me talking and go directly to it. So ooh, the question I want to ask you, I write them down quickly. I got tape everywhere. 
So for the ones, it can be the ones who just started, who are newbies or who've been crocheting like me since a child. What drives you to continue to crochet? Because, you know, I learned how to woodwork back in 1990 in wood shop. I've never done it again. And if you put me in front of any type of machines, they're going, eh, I'll probably lose a finger. So, but what dri drove you to continue to crochet? So before you answer, make sure you put question marks in front of it so I know to bring it to the front. So let's hop back into this roundup. And remember, all these free patterns are linked down in the description box below. This one is number three, Stella Lovey Blanket. This beautiful lovey design features an adorable elephant head and generously sized starburst blanket. You can make this free crochet lovey pattern for either a boy or a girl. The design calls for single and half double crochet stitches. The designer of this pattern is Willow Yarns Design Team. This is super cute. Like she, they said, if you take off the little bow, bam, it's for a boy. Super cute pattern. Oh, and then the great thing about these star blankets, just keep going on. Uh, sorry, I keep twisting my words. Just keep going around and around and you can make the blanket bigger. All right, let's go on to the next one. Oh, look how cute this one. This is our number four. This is called the Kitty Lovey. A cute and colorful kitten lovey is sure to brighten your day. You'll only need a small amount of each color, so feel free to dip into your yarn scrap basket. This free crochet lovey pattern uses single and double crochet stitches. The pattern even, even teaches you how to crochet the invisible decrease to minimize gaps in your amigurumi. It almost reminds me of a Hello Kitty doll, doesn't it, with a little bow? Maybe it was a Hello Kitty doll, but copyright made it turn into just a kitty lovey. Hmm. I don't know, but it's super cute. All right, it is so hot in here. Give me a second to cool myself off. I don't have central air. I just have a window over there and it's 86 degrees where I am right now. So the question that I asked you, what continues to drive your crochet hobby? Why do you continue to do it? So I'll go first. I learned when I was young, uh, since I was young, I start and I started crocheting. I did it for a lot of years, a lot of years. It probably wasn't a lot of years. I started at seven, so a lot of years was probably a year. But I remember there was a big gap between my crochet from elementary. I don't think I touched it in middle school. I maybe touched it a couple times in high school. There was a gap. But immediately after I graduated, I had my, I was pregnant at 19. I picked up crochet again because I knew my grandmother, for any family member that had a baby, they knew they were getting a baby blanket from her. So I felt like it was my duty as a mom that I am having a child. I'm going to make my child a blanket. And it was it was a horrible blanket. But I did it. What continues to drive me now? After my daughter, there was another gap. Then I picked it up again and People began to compliment me and I was looking for other ways to make money. And we got a super chat. Let's see. <laughs> Hook by Robin, contribution to the wine box fund. Thank you so much, because my wine box, <laughs> you're lucky I'm nowhere near it. I forgot to buy new wine for this live stream. So I had my wine box inside. Since you don't know about the wine. Inside is like a plastic bladder, like a pooch, like a plastic bladder of wine. And it's hard to squeeze stuff out of the tap. So I just ripped the plastic bladder out of it and like squeeze the life out of it into my cup. So that's what I'm drinking today. So thank you for contributing to my wine fun. I forgot to go to the store. Oh, I forgot. And since you donated, let me let you spin the wheel of patterns. And everybody, Hook by Robin is my most favorite crocheter in the whole entire world. She has the best channel. All right. You also get the peekaboo slippers right here. So make sure you email me. You know the routine at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. I'm still amazed you even talk to me. I'm glad you do. Cheers to you, Robin. <laughs> I'm strange at times. Okay. What was I talking about? You know what? Enough about me. Oh, what drives me? Oh, I started, wanted to start making money. And after that, 
Now, what drives me, I still enjoy. I love making crochet and doing crochet. It is now my job. That was my goal for such a long time while working two jobs at the same time. Like my end goal was to quit my day job in crochet. Eventually I did. Now that's what I'm doing. I'm happy or have more time for my family. What continues to drive me is still the love of crochet, but also I need to continue to pay my bills. So now I'm solely relying on that. So that's what drives me now. The love of it and bills. I ain't gonna lie. I'm keeping it real. All right. Let's see why you guys do it. I'm going to start from the bottom this time. Lori, I also love the challenge and the compliments. That's a good point. I didn't think about it. I pride myself in being such a modest person. I guess we all got a little narcissistic tendencies. I love when somebody notices something I made. If I had a sweater on, they're like, oh, that's beautiful. Nine times out of 10, I'll go into like a five minute rant on how I made it. I'm sure they're like, I walked into a trap. I should have never complimented her, but I get so excited. Wendy says, I also love the creative side. I do too. I'm not creative myself. I haven't made too many like other people's patterns lately. If you follow any of my patterns, you know they're basic patterns. You're not going to learn how to crochet a Mona Lisa. You're going to learn how to make some cute, quick slippers. They're great for beginner and intermediate crocheters. But I can't do those beautiful, gorgeous designs. I love those. Let's see what else is going on. Toro eight star, one of my faves. She says it's relaxing to crochet and I like the way yarn feels. I do too. Do you ever get new yarn when you bring it home or take it out of the bag? You like sniff it. What do I usually do? I hate, I always catch myself on camera. If I'm doing a yarn review, I do this, this, I think we all do it. I'm sure that can't be good inhaling fibers into my lung, but there's actually a disease. I think it's called, what is Miller's lung? Something lung, but it had to do with the people that in the 1800s and early 1900s that worked in like cotton factories that made things, they would inhale these fibers into their lungs and they got some type of disease. I forget what this type is called, cotton lung, or I don't know what it's called, something like that. I guess you shouldn't sniff too much. Rambling again, <laughs> Lori Murphy. I love making something I can wear after it, I wear after and it relaxes my mind. I think that's the same thing for a lot of people. Dominic says, I like that it helps me with passing time ever when our school keeps going on 10 day quarantine. So I have so much free time on my hands. Yeah, my son was just on a quarantine. He's back to school again, everybody's in mask. Well, he wasn't sick or anything, but stuff shut down. Heather's crochet pleasures. I like that. I love your name. I love the finished product and the look on the faces of the person receiving something that I crocheted. Yes. I think most crocheters are pretty modest, but when it comes to something that we made by hand, we just, our chest gets big. We gloat. We love it. I do. That's just me. My girl, Mar Will, Blind Stitches Creation. What motivates me to crochet? It's because I'm blind and I have to feed my stitches. I can't see it like regular person. I know you love, oh wait, I know you love what my, oh, I think it cut off at the end. I didn't get the last part, but yes, you have to feel yours, which makes me, it, I still haven't done your challenge yet. I'm trying to convince my husband to be my partner with it. Ooh, I've been trying to, I've been trying to talk to Robin. Well, type of things we can do on a live stream. I just want to do one live stream or maybe record a video with Miss Robin. She agreed to it. Maybe we can both do like the blind uh, crochet challenge. We'll just record a split screen, one blindfolded, and we'll see what happens. That's a good one. But uh, I lost my, oh, I was talking about not being able to see and filling your stitches. I did this tutorial using uh, Bukele yarn. I hope I'm pronouncing it right, but it's that yarn that's, so I don't have any Bukele yarn behind me, but it's that super fuzzy yarn. You cannot see your stitches. So therefore, or think of that, uh, yarn, that pipsqueak yarn. You can't see your stitches or any type of fur yarn. You can't see it. You have to feel. And I was trying to do a tutorial for it. And I got so many comments on, this is a horrible tutorial. 
but I tried my best to describe how you would fill your stitches. And this is what you do on an everyday basis. Do you have difficulties when you're doing, uh, let's say, a more intricate stitch, like a cable stitch? Actually, I think on one of our live streams, we may have to uh, go on a, a field trip over to your channel and check you out. Crafty Chat Cafe says, what drove me to continue my tiny social circle? I never realized my social circle was becoming smaller the older I got. Maybe I just was eliminated the people that were annoying. I don't know. And now my circle is basically my friend that lives out of state, my friend that lives down the road, you guys, <laughs> and fa family, and that's it. I basically have two friends, one since childhood, we talk via phone, any other, we see each other maybe once or twice a month, we hang out in the evenings and we chill. It's not like it used to be. Teresa says, it gets me every time, it relaxes me and I love it when I can, uh, when a project is done. I do love it when a project is done, except weaving in ends. And guys, if you're just getting to the live stream and you're wondering where are these crochet lovey patterns, all the links are down in the description box below. You'll find it under free patterns from video and just click that link. It'll take you all to these free patterns. You don't have to listen to me talk, it's fine. <laughs> all right, we're gonna hop back into this roundup. Where are we at? We're on number five. The next question that I'm gonna ask you, oh, I'm starting to sweat. Can you see pit stain shit? Not yet, I'm still good. I might end this when the pit stain happened. Hmm. What's the latest thing that you've made? Oh yes, I, I write shorthand, so I, sometimes I can't even read my own writing. So what is the latest thing that you're working on and why are you working on it? Who is it for? I don't want you to say, I'm working on a blanket, period. I'm working on a blanket because my grandson is climbing Mount Everest and I wanna make sure he's warm. I wanna know details, why are you making this blanket? But make sure you put question marks right in front of it so we can discuss it. Let me cool off with a sip of wine. I need to put ice in my wine. I prefer my wine room temperature. Some my girlfriend thinks I'm like a heathen caveman for drinking room temperature wine, but I don't like it chilled, I don't know. All right, so let's hop back into this roundup. And comment below, how do you, if you drink wine, how do you like your wine? Let me know. Where are we at? We did this one. Ooh, look how cute. Let me pull it up closer so you can see it better. And did I share my screen? I did. This is called the Patch the Cow Lovey. Comfort for the little cowboy or cowgirl in your life with a super cute cow lovey. This free crochet lovey pattern stands out for the rest with colorful patches. It's a little detail that makes this really cute, don't you think? The designer of this pattern is Osa Osage. I can never say that. Osage County Crochet. I said it right. Osage. Did I say that right? Osage County Crochet looks right to me. Oh, we can see how big it is. Oh, that is so cute. That is a bigger lovey. See, this is something a kid would truly use. That's super cute. I want to check out all the pictures. Don't mind me. Awesome pattern. Okay, next one from my girl. This is called the Brave Lying Lovey, number six. Let's head to the jungle for our next free crochet lovey. This adorable line is perfect for the Harry Potter fans in your life. The Granny Square Lovey is made in a Gryffindor house colors, and the line is, of course, Gryffindor house mascot. This design calls for single and double crochet stitches, along with loop stitches for the main. The designer of this pattern is Nine Inspired. All right. Oh, give me a second. It is burning up in my house. And guys, if you want to find these patterns, they're all down in the description box below. So the question that I asked you, what are you making right now? Why? Who is it for? What yarn are you using? But just make sure you put like question marks in front of it. So I'll let you see what I'm making right now. Of course, I'm making slippers. You guys just love, love slippers from me, according to my analytics. So I keep feeding you more. I'm running out of slipper patterns though. So I made this one right here, but I'm about to show you the back of my slipper. Don't laugh at me. I haven't even filmed my uh, 
YouTube thumbnail. That's the image that goes on front of my YouTube videos. That's supposed to make you, when I go like this, like, ah, that entices you to click the champ, the image. But I wanted to use puff stitches on a bag, not puff stitch, puff paint on a bag. But unfortunately, before it dried, I wasn't thinking. I grabbed onto the slipper before it was dry and I slid the paint and I tried to fix it and it was horrible. But I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna take the picture without the back of the slipper showing. So I'm gonna have two slippers, of course. Where's the other slipper? Oh, let me show you how it's made. Don't look at my gym shorts down below. Ugh. I'm using Felici yarn. It's made just like this. One flat panel, it looks like a W. Ooh, can you guys see? Wait. All right. It's made in back and forth rows. It's actually made this way. And when you fold it in half, it creates the slipper. Nothing complicated. You know, I love those beginner friendly patterns. I cinch it at the toe. And this is what it looks like when it's all done. You can't see, but it's slip stitch closed down at the bottom with this ugly puff paint. So what are you guys working on? This pattern will probably be released not till October. Yes. So there's some time on that. I still got to get that out the pattern testers and everything like that. Let me hop into the comments and see what's going on. Oh, I'm sweating. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What have you made? Oh, we just start at the bottom. Sometimes I can't find where I left off because it scrolls. But Brooklyn Stitcher says, I'm working on a sunflower granny square blanket for my um, oldest daughter who has a uh, very difficult last 18 months. As her son was born very premature, only weighing one pound, two ounces. She loves sunflowers. That's beautiful but I'm glad everything's going okay. This blanket, that's beautiful. Your grandson is going to be in my prayers. Definitely. Let's see. Eleven year old shoes like this. Hey, Kaylee. She says she's 11. Thank you for joining my channel. I'll promise to be good. Bag of day. Uh, VJ's crochet. I'm making a bag of day shawl for my cousin. Miss Melanie says she's making a sweater and my girl Leanne says, technically I finished this project yesterday, but a little cow for one of my best friend who's getting married. Oh, I'm sure this is cow. I'm like a cow, like moo for my friend who's getting married. It's pair. Oh, it is a pair. It's pairs with the cow landscape said I gave her with a tray of emits and more. So it is a cow like moo, not cow like nut. Pretty cool. Miss Wendy says, just made probably 10 of your granny square slouchy hats because I might do a fair. Did sell to three stores, but COVID closed up two stores and the others on temporarily freeze, temporary freeze. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It seems like this is never going to be over. Guys, right now, if you're thinking about um, venturing into online business, do it now because these in-person businesses, it's is getting hard. It's getting difficult. Maybe start venturing online. It's scary. It's different, but it's worth learning. Trust me, it is. I'm burning. You ever see, I got this little thing in the mail. It's Ever, do you guys remember finger hat? If you're from the U.S. or the northern part of the United States, we used to get these things back in the 90s. They were called finger hut magazines. What's inside these magazines are like the cheapest things. You can get this beautiful jewelry that costs $19.99, but with 80 million payments of $1.99 every month, you can own this $20 necklace. I used to love looking at that stuff when I was teenagers. So when I get this junk mail in the mail with this crap, I don't buy it. It's just nostalgia. I look through it or it's the ass seen on TV sections. Okay, I'm just using it to fan, forgive me. Continue my girl. Virgie says, I'm working on a flying bison amigurumi for my niece. 
it's from the Avatar. Oh, is it Mark? What's his name? It's from Avatar Cartoon and uses fur yarn. Cute, but okay. Momo Appa. That's who it was. Appa. I love the Avatar. I remember watching it in the 2000s myself. My daughter didn't care for it. Then around 2010, I had bought the DVD set and my husband watched it with me and he fell in love with it. And my daughter fell in love with it in like 2010. Then it got popular again. What was it during the pan, like the beginning of the pandemic last year? And we all watched it again. I think my, after my son was born, I think it was 2011. When did that horrible Avatar movie come out? I was so disappointed in the movie. My husband didn't mind it too much. I'm like, listen, husband, if you've never watched the cartoons, this whole movie is so choppy and broken up. You wouldn't know what's going on. You just happen to know the cartoon context. That movie made me mad. But I am looking forward to the TV show. XD70 says, I'm making an infinity scarf for myself because the Canadian winter is just around the corner. Also, I like my wine cold. That's okay. I mean, I do. No, I don't. I like, let's see. If I, I don't drink liquor or vodka, vodka was my favorite. I don't drink that too much anymore. Okay, I'm about to go into another side story that's not about crochet. I'm going to say what I usually do. If you don't want to hear me talk about my life, click down in the link below. You can go directly to all these awesome patterns. Or if you're watching the replay, just fast forward through me talking. So the reason why I no longer drink liquor, I believe in two, uh, 2016, my husband and I, we went on a vacation. We went to Puerto Rico and we drank too much one of the nights. And the following night, the day, we're morning, we we're supposed to go snorkeling at like eight o'clock in the morning, snorkeling. But we went out partying, drinking like, woo, we don't got no kids, let's have fun. So I woke up with the worst hangover. The ocean was so beautiful. The water was beautiful, but I'm just floating in the water like, Jesus, I can't do this. And ever since then, I have not touched liquor. I've just been solely devoted to wine. Long story. <laughs> Let's see. I'm making a Christmas ornament wreath for an ornament exchange. Oh, I see you didn't put question marks, but I just noticed this is also what you're doing, Miss Pauline. I'm working on a seagull as mascots for the Holiday College. I rent out. Oh, I would love to do that. I mean, when, when sometimes I think inside my head, own a college cottage to rent out. I'm not talking like cot. I'm talking my husband and I. We, every single, we're actually doing it on my birthday coming up. It's, we always go to this cabin. We love going to a cabin and just having a getaway. It's full of trees, no people. You can walk out on the front porch butt naked and scream, ah, and nobody would see you. It's just absolutely gorgeous. One day I would love to own a property like that of my own and maybe rent that out. That'd be cool. All right, so I think we should probably hop back into this roundup. Ooh, I'm getting sweaty. Take my old wannabe finger hut book. Where are we? Oh, we're already on number eight. All right. So now the question I'm going to ask you, I've asked this before. I think I'm going to do a video like this. The yarn, what is her name? The yarn, uh, yarn. She always does live streams. Yarn, not Yarntopia, yarn. I can't remember her name. She did a top 100 or 50 crochet YouTubers. Oh, I can't remember the name of her YouTube channel. If guys, if you know her YouTube channel, she did this maybe a year and a half ago. Yarnistry, Yarn, it's not Yarntopia. I forget. All right, so I'm gonna hop back into it so I'm not gonna be all weird and make you look at my face. <laughs> as I contemplate what I was thinking about. Okay, we did the brave lion. So now we're over here. Let me scroll down. This is the puppy that somebody was talking about. I think it was Leanne said she's working on. This is called the puppy love lovey security blanket. 
Who said that free crochet lovey patterns had to be pastel colors? Break the mold with this bright green and white pup. His bright colors and sweet face are sure to attract your little one's attention. They will love this floppy ear and stripy blanket. The designer of this plat pattern is Crochet from a Land. This is beautiful. Ah, see, if this was made in a different color, I don't think it would stand out as much. This is so cute. Uh, I don't wish I had a baby. No, thank you. But this would be cute to make for somebody else. All right, coming in at number eight, this is the Raccoon Crochet Lovey. Raccoons get a bad rap. Uh-oh, let me close this off. Get out of here, Ad. All right, raccoons get a bad rap. The only thing this mass bandit wants is to steal your heart. You can make this cute will and animal lovey for yourself using single and double crochet stitches. This free crochet lovey pattern makes excellent use of special variegated yarns use, um, you can use saving some money. The designer of this pattern is Nancy Anderson for Yarn Inspirations. This is unique. I always have some, I love variegated yarn. But I have trouble with variegated yarn because I never know how it'll work up, how the color spacing is. So I'm always like, ah, I love, never mind, I'm babbling. Guys, that's how you know how hot it is. I keep getting stuck on all my words. I'm dying over here. But what I was trying to say about variegated yarn, now that I got my composure back, so excuse me, like a yarn like this, I wonder how it'll work at first. I like when I go into the big box stores and they have a little swatch pattern worked up for me so I can see how the color striping works out or how the pattern will create. Because sometimes I want just a striping like this yarn. Mm, where is the yarn at? It's half empty, but oh, I love this Felicia yarn. This gorgeous would be a different than this, you know? So I have difficulty just figuring out what it will look like. So the question that I asked you guys, oh my goodness, um, this yarn is wrapped around my leg and microphone. I'll fix it when we're off. So who is your favorite YouTuber? I, somebody, did somebody send something? Caitlin, I see something in them popped up. Oh, you are a new member. Thank you so much for joining my membership. I appreciate it so much. Cheers to you. And because you joined my membership, I'm going to let you spin the wheel of patterns. And by the way, with the membership, you get all the, uh, believe, depending on what level you are, you get my free written patterns. So you don't have to worry about going to the website and going through ads. You get those delivered to you. You get early access to all my videos. If you're part of the Yarnivore or Yarnies, but Yarnivore, you get a special live stream every single month. And that reminds me, well, I'll hold that thought. Let's give you a spin. Let's give my new member a spin. Did I share the screen? I did not share the screen. I'm going to spin again because I didn't share the screen. Sorry, Caitlin. Here we go. Rainbow. Where is it? Where is it? Right here, this is the crochet mitten and headband set. Just make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. Don't worry if you don't know that email, you can't remember it. It's linked down in the description box below. We're gonna get to know each other a little bit more, so don't worry over the next coming time. But I was holding my thought for earlier. I was speaking about being on live streams. I, unfortunately, guys, we're still gonna have live streams on Little John Yarns, but I'm realizing with my daughter away at college, the days that I can go see her are on the weekends. So I'm going to break my live streams into only two. One at the be the first Saturday of every single month for everybody. And for my uh, memberships, the last Saturday of the month. So I'm able to find some time where I can drive up to go see my daughter at college. I miss her. I realized I was told her I can come up next week and we'll see. But then I realized like, oh my gosh, next week I have a live stream for my memberships. I'm going to have to figure out how to make this work better. I hope you guys aren't upset. I just have to do the family thing efficiently. I want to be a good mom and I miss my baby. This is the, this has been a complete month since she's been away from me. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, uh, everybody's saying me, I'm their favorite YouTuber. I should have put up, I wasn't trying to seek for compliments. I do appreciate that. Other than me, not me. You can answer again. Other than me, who's your favorite crochet YouTuber and why? You know what I mean? Or I haven't done a meet the maker in a while. Maybe there's a crochet YouTuber you would love me to bring on meet the maker that you've always wanted to meet. There's no guarantee I can get them on meet the bank maker. Just because I'm a YouTuber doesn't mean other YouTubers want to talk with me. Sometimes I get really lucky and sometimes they're like, no, and I can't be mad because I just wouldn't want to get on anybody's YouTube channel. Uh, Gloria says you are. You see, Michelle, I have too many favorite top favorites are Fiber Spider. Yes. The Crochet Crowd, Bag of Day Crochet, Creative Grandma, Hooked by Robin. Yay. And I have my favorites in separate playlists on my YouTube channel. Will you organize? Everybody loves their bag of day. When I look into the back end of my analytics, a lot of people from bag of day who watch her like me also. Let's see. Allison says, I love TL Yarncraft. Her voice is so soothing. I also discovered Alt Knox today. She gives crochet a sp spooky goth twist. She convinced me to buy my first furl crochet hook today. I think I know who that is. When I was doing my Ogo Yarn review, you know, I like to check out other people's reviews and see what they think about it also. I think she did it and she's unique. I like it. I like the way she doesn't like fit into a little box. She's an individual. She's herself. That's awesome. TL Yarncraft, what you said about her voice, yes. It's not deep, but it is like velvet. She would be like, what type of, uh, I wouldn't call her Barry White because the Barry White voice is very deep, but she has that very sensual, calming voice. It's velvety. I don't know what my voice is. At times, it can be very shrill. <sighs> my girl, Hook by Robin. Uh, perhaps you should reach out to Fiber Spiber for a Meet the Maker. That would be popular because lots of people love him. I think so. You think he would do it? I have to give it a try. Sometimes I get a little nervous. I tell you guys all the time. I get a little nervous, but then you find out everybody's all the same. They're just like you. No reason to get freaked out. I still do. Everybody's saying Fiber Spider. Fiber Spider. Oh, Caitlin said his voice is soothing. Aside from you, I love watching Fiber Spider. His voice is so soothing when he's crocheting and sometimes I'll listen to them while I crochet. I think by, somebody told me once, I, my talking voice is not soothing. This voice that me and you are chit chatting with right now, there's nothing calming about it. But I guess my crochet voice, somebody said, is very, very soothing. I guess when you were just counting, double crochet in the next two stitches, but blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I guess it can sound soothing. Oh, my fave, Prop 31 Yarn. Congratulations on your daughter going to college. Thank you so much. Like I always say, I was lucky to keep her for an extra two years. She went to like a local community college where she commuted for two years. And now the second two years, she ran away from home and I'm all alone, stuck with two men in the house. And it's just me outnumbered. Ah. <sighs> Gloria says I am. Oh, definitely. About, yeah, my live streams, cutting them down to one live stream a month for everybody and one live stream a month for my memberships. I hope you guys don't mind. I miss you too, Proverbs. It's been a minute. Let me scroll down. And guys, if you're just getting to this live stream and you're wondering where all the patterns are, they're all down in the description box below. Don't worry. I love to talk. So you can just skip me. Wendy says, Canadian crocheter, crafty Floridian. Oh, my battery's dying. I forgot to plug it in. Oh, come here. I'm still here, guys. I'm just trying to get my laptop. That would be so horrible. Get my charger right in the middle of a live stream just because I forgot to plug it in. All right. And bag of day, Kim and Ginger, affordably crafter, J Hook. Of course, and yes, others. Yes, we love J-Hook Crochet. She's amazing. We have Gloria. We love uh, Hook by Robin. We love Mar Wills, uh, Blind Stitches, Creation. 
awesome channels. Those are the ones that also we talk together. Virgie says, Hook by Robin, Skeen Spider, Tina. I can't say that. Thordor? I can't say that. Okay, from Ireland, I'll just say that. I got hooked on your channel when I first came out with all th those patterns. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm so hot. I'm sweating over here. I think Fiber Spider so far is getting like, check, check, check. Honestly, think, oh, spy, uh, that wasn't one. Did I get it right? Yeah. I'll just read it anyhow. I honestly think he would do it. He is really cool and down to earth. I hope so. Jerry says, I love your hair color. You crack me up. I'm working on knitting a shawl and a top, top knitting and crocheting it. I like cinnamon stitches and the corner of craft and some of what the others were saying. I, I've heard of cinnamon stitches, corner of craft. The corner of craft. I've never heard of them. Hmm. Let's see. Judy says, I love Kristen Amadal. I hope I pronounced that right. <laughs> That's what it is. DD designer, Denise. The voice that uh, TL Yarncraft has, she has a R&B voice. That's that's a good description of the voice that she has. All right, we're gonna hop into the last two patterns of this roundup. Give me another second to fan myself off. It is so hot. Forgive me. Okay. <gasps> hey, Cherry. She said, glad you caught. Uh, uh. <laughs> Yo, Alicia, glad I caught, caught you. I'm glad you caught me also. Apparently, I can't speak now. I haven't even drank that much wine. It's not even halfway through. Let's take it to the halfway point, and then we'll start reading the last two. Definitely. Oh, Angela said, Jaden Stitches. I love her. All right, let's pop back into this roundup. Remember, all of these patterns can be found down in the description box below. This is number nine, Owl Lovey. Did I share my screen sometime? Yes, I did. All right, show your little one that you'll always love them with this free crochet lever lovey pattern. It's a hoot. Did you like the little mom joke in there? Okay. <laughs> I love the design choice to use the same variegated pastel yarn for both the owl and the blanket and the little knots in the corner of the blanket as an extra special finished touch. The designer of this pattern is Venetia. I mean, sorry, Vanessa. I pronounced wrong. Fanessa. Forgive me. See, here we go. Fanessa. Now I pronounced it correctly. Isn't this super cute? See, the yarn color does all the work. Any other pictures? No other pictures. Let's bring it to the very last pattern. This is actually one of the cutest patterns on the entire roundup. This one and the puppy pattern and the lamb pattern. This puppy and lamb are one of my favorite patterns. Oh, I forgot to ask you a question. Sorry. So the question I'm going to ask you now is, Ask me anything. If you want to know about my life, if you want to know about business, if you want to know if you want to brag about what you're making right now, brag. Just make sure you put little question marks in front of it so I know where to bring it to the front. All right, enough of my face. Back to the cutest giraffe ever. This is number 10, Giraffe Lovey Puppet. How could a cute and free crochet lovey pattern be any better than it already is? Well, how about you make it into a puppet? This new puppet lovey will go from nap time companion to playtime partner in crime as your little one grows. This is super sweet. The designer of this pattern is E Cage. This is cute. No, I wonder if I think it's cute just because I love the color yellow. Yellow is one of my favorite colors in the whole entire world. I don't know why. Purple is my favorite color. Yellow is my favorite color to wear. Hmm. So guys, do you have any questions for me? What patterns do you think you're gonna make from this roundup? If you are, what's going on? Brag about what you're making. Let me cool down for a second. All right, we gotta get some of this wine down.
Lee Ann says, do you have a special group that does all of your testing or do you seek new testers for every new pattern? And is there a way to sign up for that? Go on Facebook. I did not, I might have it linked in my description box below. I have a Facebook group. If you type in uh, Little John Yarns in Facebook search under groups, you'll find me join the group. I'm about to open that group to anybody. I usually, you have to be approved to get in there. I'll approve you or my member group monitors will approve you. I haven't posted one in there lately, but you can stop. I'm going to start doing there instead of on Ravelry. We're going to do that there. So check me out there. Find me little John yarns on Facebook in a groups, joining groups, and you'll be able to participate in testing when I put it out there. My girl, my new best friend, Caitlin says I'm working on a Barbie dress and night before Christmas graph can and a Christmas version of a puppy lovey. Question, how do you work on so many at once? If I switch patterns, the other pattern vanishes off the face of the earth. It goes into this will continue box. But years later, I look into the box, I say like this, or I'll be like, what, what, what is that? That's, this is actually a, I uh, tried to make a slipper pattern and it didn't work out right. So just, hey. do you have problems with that? Or is your mind like can function and compartmentalize what you're doing? I can never do it. <laughs> Virgie says, I just want to say you made my day by knowing about Oppa and the Avatar show. Much love and respect to you. That's my stuff. I've been looking for something like that. I've read that's one of the best TV shows ever made. The storyline is for children. The storylines is for adults. It's for teens. Everybody can watch this story and love it. It's an amazingly made story. I don't know how they did it. I just, I want more. I cannot find anything else close. I watched The Legend of Katara. That was all right, but it wasn't like Aang. It was not the same, just saying. Sweet Serena's T says, how did you start your crochet business? I started my crochet business back in 2015, 16 as a way just selling handmade goods. But you know, like most people, I put on Etsy, didn't get no sales. Then I started to sell directly on Facebook. Facebook is where I got a lot of my attention. I was able to post within Facebook groups and get myself seen, not just posting on my own Facebook feed. That can be annoying. Your friends and family don't want to see that. I created my own group and I was joined a whole bunch of other groups, advertised in there, started advertising on uh, Instagram and things like that. But if you truly want to know how to uh, do this whole crochet thing, I wrote a book. It's not linked down below, unfortunately, but you can also look on uh, Amazon. It's called The Secret of Selling Crochet, or you can check out The Crochet Entrepreneur. Unfortunately, right now, I think there's a waiting list to get within her Become a, a Crochet Entrepreneur group. You can click down the link below and click on it and save yourself to the waiting list. But she all, she's also a great teacher on how to make money with crochet. But the way I got to YouTube, I wasn't making a month, enough money just selling my finished product. I did the math. The math is probably wrong. I can't remember it. I thought to myself, if I sold a hat at $25 every single day of the year, I would probably still only make like $10,000 in a year if I sold a hat every single day. I'm like, hmm, I freaking need to figure out how to make more money. That's how it went to YouTube. And once I start making on YouTube, I'm like, how could I make more money? And that's when it went to selling patterns online. And I'm like, ah, how can I make more money? Then I went, that's how I went to blogging. It was an off step. I no longer sell any physical products. I've written books. I've been featured in magazines and doing stuff like that. I do sponsorships. I create videos. I do a lot of song and dance to make this crochet hustle work. It's a lot, but if you'd like to find out, you can check out my book or get on the waiting list for the crochet entrepreneur, or I didn't link her down before. Check out Karen V. Miguel's 
YouTube channel. She teaches you great ways on how to sell your handmade goods. She said, uh, wait, back up. You wrote a book. Yeah, girl, I wrote a book. You want to go on a field trip? Field trip. Let's go see my book. And guys, if you're uh, one of the yarnivores, I believe, no, yarnivores and yarnies, if you're part of my membership, you get the book for free. Let's check out on Amazon. For the secret to selling crochet. I always spell secret wrong. I use, there it is. That's me. The secret to selling crochet. Hey, if you have Kindle Unlimited, you can read it for free. There we go. If you don't have Kindle, you can purchase the ebook for $9.99. So that is the secret to selling crochet. It tells you pretty much the beginning of this is more for the people that's not just selling physical items. This is for the people who want to make passive income. It teaches you how to email market. It teaches you how to create your own website. It teaches you how to put yourself out there to be seen. I always tell people, if you want to make money with crochet, you have to be seen. I tell people, listen, I am not the best crocheter in the world. Look, I'm out here just making simple slippers. Great for beginners, but I am a crocheter. That's kind of in your face. You'll see me somehow you're going to run across me somehow. If this, you might not know it was me, my face, but you heard my voice on a pattern or two. I know you have. Steve, actually, I don't like Hook by Robin. Steve is my favorite crocheter. Steve, he's just so cute. <laughs> Steve the cat, can, can your cat, does your cat get in your yarn at all? I wonder. Look, I got a hype man, head to Amazon to buy your book and learn. Thank you. Okay, everybody, I, I freaked out too. It is weird to have Hook by Robin. It's normal for us now, but if you're just coming to this live stream and you see Hook by Robin, you're like, why is she here? Guess what? She's normal people too. She really is. She's cool people. I like her. And her hair is blue, if you didn't know. She's like this. I told her she's the Sia of the crochet world. We just have no clue what her face looks like. None. She just fingers. <laughs> Nicole says, Stangle, my uh Stangle, that's my best friend's ex-husband, her last married name, Stangle. Okay, she says. Where is your daughter? Where's your daughter's college? I make an embroidery quilt just for something to do. My daughter goes to Westminster College, Pennsylvania. It's a small Christian college up in a little Amish community. It is super cute. It's just the most quietest, picturesque place you've ever seen. It's just, I wouldn't call it a uh, what was that? The Andy Griffith show It's like even quieter than that. It's just more country. It's just there's horse and cart buggy signs like be careful of the horse and cart. They drive here. There's signs, road signs like that. It's a quiet little school, but great for a music program, which he's in. Leanne says, you mentioned a little while ago that you always go away to a cabin on your birthday. That's when I remembered the first time I came across your channel. Forgot about that. Uh, Burr rediscovered you. Uh, that, oh, is that when you discovered me? Was I, oh, that was the worst live stream ever. I didn't realize going to a cabin in the middle of nowhere is not the greatest for Wi-Fi or internet service. That stream was like, eh, eh, it was a horrible, my words didn't match my mouth. It was just a horrible live stream. And I didn't know until it was over. Because on my end of the live stream, everything looks smooth and even. But on your end, you'll probably see all that jumping and stuff. So that first one was bad. But the cabins, I just love getting away where you can just not see anybody and don't hear anybody yell. Or don't get me wrong, I love hearing kids playing outside. But Sometimes I don't want to hear kids playing outside. <laughs> Let's see what else. Did Robin say something horrible about herself? 
Hold on. Whatever you said horrible about yourself, Robin, yours truly by Rose is exactly right. Not true, Robin. You are an inspiration. Oh, I see it. She said she's a nobody. You are not a nobody. What I always said out of all the people that I've interviewed, you were quite since maybe because you don't take much of yourself. You're, I wouldn't say, I don't want to say you're fully of yourself. You don't take yourself seriously. You're just a regular girl. It's funny. You're somebody. Yes, you're just, you're hilarious. That's why I would love to see you more in front of the camera. Because you have the most amazing personality. I'll just bring you over to my channel. Ah, XD Symphony. Tell me more. I honestly wouldn't mind starting a YouTube channel for crochet eventually when I move into my own space. Just need to figure out how to do patterns. Listen, I had a YouTube channel for a year, a year and a half, a year and a half before I knew how to write patterns. Bag a Day Crochet has been crochet, ha has a YouTube channel for about 10 years. She still cannot write a pattern. She can create a pattern, so she records what she creates, and she sends that recording to another person, and they write down the pattern for her. Maybe that's what you can do. When I started, I didn't have clout like that. I didn't have somebody to write the pattern down for me, but I eventually learned how to uh, write patterns because I was like, I need to make more money. I was just making videos, and listen, guys, you think, I think the average uh, crocheter, not crochet YouTuber, you're not going to be rich. You can have a million subscribers. You still might not make $30,000 a year. It all depends on your views. Don't think people are getting rich. YouTube split is, is it 55? No, 40. What's the 55? I forget the YouTube split. It's crazy. 50? No, 40, 60. We get 60. YouTube gets 40. Robin, let me know what it is. I forget. But they take a good bit of the profit. How we make money is not through YouTube. We make money through uh, making patterns. So that's why I had to learn eventually how to create patterns. So if you don't know how now, who cares? Just start. Oh, my real name is Kathy. I'm going to try to remember that. I'm always so used to seeing Cherry. If you're here and you're Cherry, it's funny if I was to meet you in public, that would, that probably sounds like a stripper name. Hey, Cherry B, how you doing? Cherry B84. That's your dancer name. I don't mean to tease you. I'm just having fun. I have no idea how much they take, but it's a big chunk. They do. So guys, Robin, she has a gazillion, a lot of subscribers. She's not rich. Trust me, she's not rich. I have uh, 160,000 subscribers. I am not rich. I drink box wine. I just squeeze some wine out of a bladder into my wine glass before I came live. My house, my craft room is my living room. But I do, I don't want to be rich. I do enjoy having my time though. I have time that I didn't have before. I wish I can describe how working as a YouTuber is. I work harder than I would at a day job if I had a boss because this is mine. I, I love this. This is mine. But if I'm pissed off at my work with crocheting, like after I created these slippers and I touched the wet paint on a shoe, I threw it down, went upstairs and watch some TV for a second. I'm like, I was so mad. I'm able to walk away. I can't do that at a day job. When my son had to be uh, quarantined away from school, I didn't have to panic and worry about where it was going to go. I was home for him. I don't need to be rich. As long as I have this space and opportunity to do what I want to do. Does that make sense? Hope so. I guess this is Robin backing me up. She says, I am not rich. I thought YouTube would be easy, but it's the hardest job I've ever had. But there's room for everyone, so everyone should have a channel. 
There is. I get so many people saying, oh, there's it's already congested. There's already so many people out there. The way the YouTube algorithm works, you might think it benefits uh, bigger channels more. Don't get me wrong. Bigger channels do have an edge. But if there's something about your channel that clicks, they up and surpass you in no time. I've had a couple of channels just fly right past me because they are new, but they are so entertaining. I'm like, I can't even mad. That crochet channel is pretty good. And I watch a lot of crochet channels like, because I'm wondering like, what makes people like them or what can make people like me? I'm a researcher. Ooh, my best buddy, Maria. Got a suggestion for your friend. Right before uh, you show us the last two patterns of a roundup, you should tell us all that's in your wind down. Wait, oh, tell us that's it's your wind down. I get it. So much perfect than wind down. I like that. You're a genius. You, are you a marketing genius? You are. You told me. You're a marketing genius. Thank you. Where's my pencil? Wind down. Round up, wind down. Oh, uh, it's really Cherry Bomb. So that's even more of a stripper name. Cheers to you, Cherry Bomb. Oh, what is the song from the 70s? Hello, boys. Mm, mm, I'm your ch 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 The Runaways. Cherry Bomb. Okay. Got stuck in my head. There we go. Guys, oh yeah, if you have any other questions for me, let me know. If I missed your question and you think like, oh, she just scrolled past my question. I didn't. I just missed it. Type again, let me know. We're going to be wrapping this up in the next five minutes. So let's see. Uh, do you still uh, do you still crochet for fun, meeting something for yourself or just for fun? Not really. No, I haven't. That is the one thing when crochet is your love, you can lose when it becomes your job. I haven't made something I truly wanted in a while. I want to make my uh, crochet. It's a pattern I made before. It's my vintage cloche hat. It's the one that's really tricky, that slopes down. I no longer have that hat. I sold it like a long time ago. I want to make another one of those hats, but I don't have the time. So actually, when I do want crochet, I have one, 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 ugh. I have a friend who crochets. I buy crochet from other people. I love uh, the crochet hit wraps. I have a pattern for that. And I didn't want to sit down and make a hit wrap. Whenever I touch hook to yarn, there's a camera attached to it. There's a pattern being written. That pattern I did years ago. I can't see myself doing it again. So I paid my one of my best friends who's a crocheter to make me some. I'm like, listen, charge what you want. Understand crochet. This is a craft. So I'm like, she made it for me and I wore it. I'm a buyer of crochet. I just don't have time to make it for myself anymore. Mm, ah, hook by Robin. I'm glad you're laughing over here. Let's see. Oh, no, I probably wouldn't get rich. You just like making videos. Hmm. The thing about YouTube, you, know, you never want to be a narcissistic person, but being online makes you focus on yourself so much. It's almost, it's hard. I wish I could describe it perfectly. Online, I feel like I have to have this energy, this right now, usually about, Okay, we've been online for one minute and one minute, one hour and 13 minutes. This right here, who you're talking to right now, this is the me every day. If you've been on since I started this live stream, the girl in the first 15 minutes, that is not me. That is the girl who has to work up all the energy in her soul to be entertaining. And it's a lot, but she wears off with some wine towards the end of the live stream. That persona can be a lot to put on, to constantly have to put out something week by week. You feel like if I disappear, if I 
disappear for a little bit? What if people think, oh, she's going off the face of the earth? Or if I put out a bad video, or, it can be stressful. But at the same time, it can be freeing because I don't got to go to work. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't have to wake up at a certain time. I still wake up pretty early because my son has to get on a school bus. But, you know, I can still wear shorts. It's it's more relaxing than spending my time in the car, commuting to work and clocking in. And uh, I'd rather do this. Okay, where are we at? <laughs> my girl, ch 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 cherry bomb. I'm gonna think that every time I see you now, it says I'll crochet for you. Oh, there should be like an ad just for YouTubers with our faces. Do you know a YouTuber that can't crochet for themselves? Crochet angels are here to help. Crochet a hat for a YouTuber that wants one. Hmm. Oh, I haven't put them up. I'll, I know it. I'm going to start doing them again. Faith says, I miss your uh, blog post on income report. They are so inspiring. Every time I feel like giving up, I always hit your blog. I love your uh, content in general. You know what? It's because I got lazy <laughs> and I haven't put up any income reports. But I think being transparent is the only way to help people grow in this. If people say, like, oh, you only make money because you do this. I'm like, listen, here's the transparency. I make money because I, if you look below the screen right now, you'll see you can buy t-shirts from my uh, t-shirt shop or go into description. You can see you can buy patterns. I learned how to do all this and I post exactly where all of my income comes. Yeah, it's a lot of different places. People may think like, one income YouTube. I put all my income together. I have income coming from literally 16 different places. Don't get me wrong. Income number 16 might only be five bucks a month. That's it. But listen, that's five bucks I didn't have before. And income over here might be 30 bucks a month here. And another one might be a thousand. I listed all there on my income thingies. Okay. I don't know. Irish crochet is so beautiful. I am doing a, I'm writing a blog post, which is going to be a YouTube video. It's extremely long about the history of crochet, but Divergent Crafter says, can you suggest somebody to learn Irish crochet from here on uh, YouTube? No, I can't, but I think it's so beautiful. But when I was doing my research for the history of crochet, that was one of the earlier crochets. And I can't wait to put out that video. I didn't realize how much research and how much typing I would do. I hope it won't be boring. I'm going to try to put it together almost like one of them history channel uh, videos where you only see images and not me sitting behind this and just talking about crochet history. Mm. Oh, hope by Robin leave. Wait, hope by Robin. Bye. And thanks again. Did she leave? Bye. If you did leave, thank you for joining us. I didn't see your bye. Everybody's telling her bye. If you see it on replay, Robin, bye. We love you. You're the best. Oh, you do. Okay. Caitlin says, hooked by Robin. Yes. I feel like it's easier to do multiple projects at once so I can either finish them at the same time or I don't get tired of one pattern. My brain just, it's like it's either off or on, off or on. I can't have them on. I'll lose it. Okay, I'll do scroll down to the bottom. All right, I think we are, wait, wait. Are you on Facebook Messenger? Actually, I never uh, talked to pretty much anybody on Facebook Messenger, but if you go to my Facebook, let me bring it up. You can message me from there. We gonna go on a field trip, Nicole. Not yet. Hold on. I'm going to find my business page, Facebook. Where is little John Yarns? There we go. We'll go to my business page. That's not it. Are there? 
There we go. Oh, I posted this on my uh, uh, Facebook page earlier today. This is a rocking chair that knits for you. How nifty is that? Let me save this. And I'll bring back over here so you can have the link to my Facebook page through there, my business page, and you can message me through there. I try to keep my Facebook private as much as I can. In the past, I intermingled and it just got weird. Nothing against you. I know you're not creepy, but there is creepy people out there. <laughs> there we go. All right, guys. So I'm pretty much going to wrap this up. And starting next month, I'm only going to be doing one live stream for everybody the very first Saturday of the month. And for the guys who are part of the membership, I'll be giving you a special live stream at the very end of the month. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me here. And I'll see you all, I guess not next week. I'll see you the very first Saturday of October. <laughs> Bye, guys.